I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Okay, first off I'd like to give a big shout out to Mr. Kurtz and his classroom kids. He gave me this idea and I think it's fabulous because today's project is animal camouflage. I take four fingers on the right hand side and right at the top I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line diagonally all the way down and off the page. I come back up about midpoint, take a finger, put a dot, and from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line at the top, come back to the dot, curve line on the bottom. I come back to the top on the uh, right hand side and I'm going to draw an oval. Okay? I come right above the oval, I should say the whole part, and I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy line, connect, jump over, wavy, wavy line down, around, and leave it floating. Now I take one finger back up by the oval and I put another dot and on that dot I'm going to draw another oval. Okay? On this oval I'm going to put a curve line up and leave it floating come down below, draw a curve line up and leave it floating too. Now I come back over here on the right and I'm just going to draw a slightly curved line up, keep going and leave it floating and right where I stop right here I'm going to draw another curve line up, keep going, keep going, keep going all the way up, up, up off the page. This section right here is my animal and I normally wouldn't tell you but I'm going to so that you can see it before it goes into camouflage. Now right about here I'm going to draw another wavy line up, keep going, leave it floating, come down a little bit, I'm going to draw another wavy line up, leave it floating. Okay? Alright. This section right here, I'm going to continue off the page and I'm going to put another wavy line inside my lizard body. Okay, this is your animal that is now going to be camouflaged by being on a tree trunk. And I'm telling you that because once we start drawing all these lines, you're going to go, where is it? Which kind of is why we do have that kind of a deal with camouflage. Alright, starting at the bottom down here, I'm just going to fill in with wavy lines all the way up. Starting at the bottom, keep going. They don't have to all go in the same uh, direction because this is a tree trunk, but you do want them all kind of going with the same kind of wave. Okay, so you fill this in and then to break it up a little bit I'm going to start at the bottom, I'm going to add a wavy line V, wavy line V, wavy line V, wavy line V, wavy line V. This is to give my tree trunk a little texture. I'm going to try and not hit my lizard though. Wavy line V, wavy line V, wavy line V. Okay? Alright. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in because that's kind of the key to animal camouflage. Okay, the most important part of this picture is coloring in your lizard eyeballs yellow. And this is so that you can see where he is. 
So I take my yellow and I color that in. And then with my brown, I go around the outside part of my eyeball and I put a couple of dots inside. Those are his eyeballs, okay? Now, the rest is all done with my brown crayon and if I see a black line, I trace over it, including the tree trunk part, with my brown crayon, okay? Because the whole part about animal camouflage is that they literally disappear in whatever environment they're in. Go ahead and do this section all with your brown crayon. Very important. But do your tree trunk also because that's the environment he's hiding in. So it's all got to be the same color. That's why those yellow eyeballs are so important because they're going to show out hopefully once we get all of this done you can go oh look for the eyeballs which might be a good way of designating what you're drawing okay so you're going to use that brown crayon a lot for all of these black lines take your time okay now the next part I used a gray crayon if you don't have gray, you can use a different color. But right in between all of these brown lines, all of a sudden I'm going to do what I call an up, down, up, down block of color. And this is to look like the bark of the tree. So you want to do all of it all the way down. But this also is going to be on part of your lizard skin. So the whole entire part is going to have these up down up downs of gray on the lizard body and on your tree trunk. Okay so once you've got that done now you come back in lightly and you color in your tree bark I would do that section first just because sometimes you know the way you do that stroke makes a difference on how it looks then I would come in and color my lizard body so it kind of differentiates from the bark just a little bit and now if you're doing it right it should disappear into the whole thing if it totally disappears you might want to have to outline it a little bit better you don't want to totally lose your lose your lizard okay last thing you're gonna do he's standing or he's on a tree so with my green crayon I'm just gonna do some up down up downs and then color this in also so really your whole picture plane the whole piece of paper is all colored in okay all right Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my animal camouflage lizard all colored in. You might want to experiment, look online and see some other examples. I saw an arctic uh, fox that was all in snow with just two little black eyes and a nose. Okay, bye bye.